Get ready with me. Makeup and hair. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. Well, I'm sitting here in a nightshirt, so these aren't regular clothes. I've got my hair in my hot rollers, and I don't have any makeup on. I do have mascara on, and a little bit of eyeshadow. Not sure you'll be able to see it, but it's on there. So I thought I would do my no makeup makeup look and my hair. I've had a few requests on how I do my hair and I have done one video in the past showing that but I don't mind doing it again so let's get started before I do I want to welcome you thank you so much for being here and if you're not already subscribed I would love it if you would and give me a like if you like it and my name is Sheila the old girl well as far as any kind of face makeup I don't care for foundation. It just is not my thing. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I wear a tinted sunscreen. And the one I use is the Dermatology Tinted Sunscreen. It's a mineral sunscreen. Now what I like to do to give myself a little color, because this is a little light for me. It doesn't come in different shades. So what I like to do is mix in some of this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I have mine in the shade 904, which is deep. It comes in light, medium, and deep. And I wanted the deep to darken up my sunscreen. Now this is the shade of the sunscreen. So it's, it's not white or anything. It just isn't dark enough. So I'm going to add a little bit of this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I'll show you what that looks like. You got to get just the right amount or it's going to be too dark or it's not going to be dark enough. So I'm just kind of guessing every time I do this. And I can always add more if I need to. So now I've added that. I hope you can see that right there on that middle finger. See how dark it is? So I'm going to mix these two together. Just rub my fingers together and it looks mixed up to me and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my face. And I just do my whole face. Now I don't do this kind on my neck and you know down my chest. I use just the dermatology down there. I don't necessarily want that bronzed up. Got to make sure I get up under my eyes. And I'd already put it on my eyelids before I put the shadow and mascara on. So that feels good. So as you can see, it gives me a glow. It gives me color. And it evens out my skin tone. So I have no need really for foundation. And this doesn't feel heavy on my face, which is what I like and what I don't like about most foundations. Now, normally I like to let this dry down for about 20 minutes. We're not going to be able to do that today or the video would be too long. But while I'll let it dry down at least a few minutes, I'll take these rollers out. Now these are just hot rollers. I believe it's Conair. I'll put it in the description box. I got them on Amazon and they're just have this like velvet and a little clip here. And I have I think 16 of them in my hair. I'll turn to the side. I think I have three right here, one here, and then a strip down the back. And then the same on the other side. And these are easy to put in and take out. They don't get stuck or tangled or anything. And as I take each one out, I go ahead and put the clip back on it so I can slide it into the unit that has the 
post that hold the rollers so that it's ready for me for the next time. And up here, my bangs, I had one, and I've already taken that one out. The thing I like about these rollers are, like I said, nothing tangles. They come right out, and it just feels gentle on my hair. Now, you'll see this does make my hair look much shorter because it gives quite the curl. But by the time I fix it and by the time I go outside in the heat and humidity, it would go string straight. That's why I always pull it up. I think I'm looking like Shirley Temple here. All right, all the rollers are out. <laughs> I, I feel like I look like that girl on Little House on the Prairie. Oh, her name was Nellie. She had these kind of ringlets that hung all over. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub my fingers through this to try to loosen it up. You're going to see how wild I look. I mean, my hair just, it grows out this way. It's, it's thick. It's, it's difficult. Let's put it that way. I mean, I'm very grateful that I have so much hair, but it's just too much around here for me. I like this look much better than this look with this feel like I have two big dog ears hanging here. So now at least I have the curls broken up. And before I move on now and continue with my no makeup makeup look, I'll go ahead and do step two of my hair. And what I do now, because I pull this up, you know how I always have my hair up? It holds better for this to stay up if I spray it with like a little dry shampoo. So I just have this little mini can of Dove dry shampoo. And I'm just going to spray it just right here on top. And that will help that hair stay in when I pull it up. And that's all. I mean, I just wash my hair, so I don't need dry shampoo to make it clean. It just, um, I don't know, gives you a little texture or something. So I'm just going to rub that around just right here on the top. Let me get this out of my way. I need some color on my lip. I'm just going to use this one by Maybelline, number 235, Warm Me Up. It's sort of a pinkish shade, I guess. Pink rose something like that and I gotta use my mirror there at least I have something on it's not very dark but I feel better so next I want to add a little brightness under my eyes and for that I use my Garnier roller ball I do not wear like concealer this works best for me, and this is a brightener. So, let me get my mirror and just put a little dab here. Whoops. You don't need much for sure. And I always put a little on the outside of each eye. And a little down the center of the nose. That should do it. And I just tap that in with my finger. And this stuff works so good for me. No creasing. No settling. Doesn't provide much coverage. But it does at least brighten me up under the eyes. And that's all I'm looking for. And just straight down the nose. And so, can you tell a difference at all? Again, it's, it's not coverage. It just brightens your under eyes a little bit. I usually always wear bronzer, but since I put this Lumi Glotion dark bronzer in with my sunscreen, I don't think I'm going to put bronzer on today. I think I'll just use some blush. And this blush is sort of a brownish color, so I guess it's more bronzy than pink. 
but this is the one by NYX, NYX, the Sweet Cheeks. I showed it recently, and this is in the shade Nude Tood, and I really love this blush. So I put three dots here, and I'm just going to pat that in with my fingers like this. I keep it high. I kind of go up by the temple, and I stop about right here. I don't want to come in any further. I want mine back and high. Now, I don't know if you can notice this sunspot that I have here. It's really dark. It may not show up real dark, but it is dark. And it's called a lentigo. And I went to the dermatologist again about it, and she froze it one more time. They can freeze them, and usually that'll just make them flake off. Lentigos are very stubborn, though, so it didn't work the first time. She hit it really heavy this time, and when they first do it, it gets real dark, kind of like coffee ground looking, and it kind of flakes off, but some has come off, but I can still see it. So I have a follow-up appointment in August. She's going to look at it again, and she said she could shave it off, but that will leave a white spot instead of a dark spot. Well, I think I'd rather have a white spot because I feel like that would be easier to cover than a dark spot. But we'll see. We'll just have to see what she says. So let me get the blush on the other side. So again, I'll put three dots and just kind of blend that in. This stuff just is so easy to work with and the, the blush lasts me all day long. You know how some liquid or cream blushes uh, they kind of fade over a couple hours, which is fine. You can always reapply them. But this one just sticks with me. So that's finished. Let you get a good look at this blush. I hope it's blended okay. You know I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> so hard to tell what it looks like. But when I'm finished with the video, I can put my glasses on and then just kind of blend it out if I need to. And I feel like my lips are looking too, I don't know, pale. They don't have enough color. I'm going to put on this like liquid lips. It says Shine Fever. The name of it is Speedway. It's made by Stila. And I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, oh gosh, probably eight or nine months ago. And it was like $7.99. But it has a shine, yet it has color. I feel like that gave me a little more color. So now let's finish up this hair so I can close out this video. Now again, I can't see real good. I have a little mirror over here and I have this little handheld mirror. That's different than doing it in front of your big bathroom mirror. But I'm going to do the best that I can. So, what I want to do, of course, is pin it up. And, you know, sometimes I'll just pull it all up like this and stick some of those um, little, uh, stick some of those little claw clips, you know, one here, one here, one here, and that's good enough. But it looks a little messier that way, and I like it to be kind of neat. Now, if I stayed in the house all day, my hair would stay like this with this curl. But the minute I walk outside, stick straight. So you can see how, you know, nice and curly. Let me turn around to the back. It gives you a lot of fullness with these hot rollers. I really like them. And you can see my hair is much longer than what it appears right now, but that's because the curl, you know, shortens it and brings it up. So this is what I do on a daily basis to survive this heat and humidity. I take the top piece right here, 
not this one where this one curler was, but this. And I just do like a little back comb, about that much. Not, not a lot. Get a little more from the side here. And then let me get one more piece from this side. There. Now I've got that. So I just take that in my hand, kind of brush it to smooth it out. Then I take one of these little stretchy rings like this, and I wrap it around twice. I think I've got the right amount of hair up here. And I just kind of make this little Bambi thing. I don't know, it just kind of works for me right now. Sometimes I'll just put a claw clip here, a smaller one. Sometimes I'll use this band. So that gives me that height, which I love. I'm still from the 70s, and we had big hair back then, and I like big hair. Not big like this, but high. I like height up here on top, not the sides. So because of the weight and all this hair around my face, I take just a big chunk I did like two little strokes, like a back comb, and I'm going to pull this up underneath this little Bambi ponytail, and I'm going to stick a bobby pin in it. And let me look in the mirror. Yep, looks like I got that up okay. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Just one, two, pull this back and go up under this ponytail. If I'm not looking right at you, it's because instead of looking at the camera, I'm looking in the little viewfinder, hoping I can see what I'm doing, but I really can't. So now that I have that up, second bobby pin, put that to hold this up, and that goes under this little Bambi ponytail. I take this, I do one, two little back combs, and then I give it a squirt of hairspray, any hairspray. This is made by CHI Chai, got it at Marshall's, and I just spray right behind there to just kind of hold that in place so that it'll stand up. Okay, done with that part. Almost finished. All I got to do is get this up and straighten up the front. So what I do with this piece here in the front, again, give it a little back comb, not much. And I just kind of pull it over to the side and kind of blend it into this area. I take one of these hair picks and just kind of Smooth this and make sure it's going back and just a touch to the side. Then I take a little hairspray and just give it a light squirt. Not much. Now the bangs. The bangs are important to me. I, I can't wear them like this because they move. And I don't like my bangs to move. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but I don't. So again, I'm going to do a little back comb. And then I just kind of pull them down. And I want them to be smooth and perfect looking. Yeah, I'm old school. And I kind of make a little bit of a split here in the front. I don't want them just straight across like that. And make sure they're smooth. So they look smooth to me. I'm going to take a closer look with my glasses. Because they, they just have to be just perfect. If anybody else is weird about their bangs as I am. Because boy, I am. They can ruin my whole hair look if, if I don't like my bangs. Well, I like them. But I think this part needs to come down some here in the front. It's like it's going too much back and there's like a hole. I don't like to see the hole. So let me see if I can bring that forward. Yeah, I did. 
Okay, I'm happy with that. Now all I have to do is spray these bangs and I don't want the spray to get on my face. So I use this guard. I've showed it to you all before. It's a hairspray guard. It covers your face. So I put it right here so I can just spray the bang. That's all I want to spray is the bang. And then I'm going to put it on this side and spray this bang. Done. I feel so much better with this pulled up. But there's no point leaving this down because, like I said, it's just going to go straight and turn frizzy when I go outside. So I don't even look. I just take the end of this brush. I kind of go down the middle in the back. I just feel. I don't know if I'm in the middle or not. And split it up like I'm going to make two ponytails, but I'm not. I just use my fingers and kind of gather it up as high as I can get it kind of up under this ponytail and I'm going to use one of these little claw clips and I'm going to put it up here right kind of at the base of that ponytail just leave that alone and then I'm going to do the same on the other side just kind of take my fingers and pull it up and this part I don't care about it being perfect so I don't use a comb or a brush to make it smooth. I just use my fingers. Hold that up. Get my other clip. Clip that piece up. Oh, well. <laughs> still a little curly, but that's okay. And then I just kind of smooth this out the best I can. Take my hair pick and just kind of play around with it to kind of get it in place and that's it I usually have like there's some short hair right here so I just pull it down like this you can barely see it because it's just two little pieces but that's how I do my hair so let me turn around show you the back I can't see it but you'll see what I mean where I don't make a like an even part back here I just grab it and pull it up and I could put it up in one clip in the center but by doing two and on the sides it gives me that height up here that I'm looking for so here's how it looks in the back I don't know what it looks like that side and this side and you know, sometimes I'll pull a couple little tendrils to hang down or something like that. But I just need something quick and easy. And it may have taken longer because I was talking and explaining what I was doing. And I'm not in front of my big bathroom mirror. I'm trying to work out of one of these little handheld mirrors and another little mirror over here. And of course, I took my glasses off so that you could see what I was doing. But I can't see what I'm doing. So that's it. That is how I pin my hair up. One of the ways I pin it up. And I do this one most of the time. And my quick and easy, no makeup, literally no makeup, no foundation makeup look. And I'm good to go. So thank you for being patient while I went through how I do my face and my hair. And now, I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today is on joy. In Galatians 5, 23, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. And one of those fruits is joy. Sometimes it's hard for us to understand how we can have joy when we're going through difficult situations and circumstances, I mean, imagine when a loved one is suffering from a devastating disease or we lose a loved one or someone very special in our life or maybe in our past we were so deeply hurt and traumatized that we can't imagine how we could ever feel 
joyful. But we really can, and that's the good news. Now, we can't do this on our own. We can't get over those type of situations. That will always be a broken past for us when we've gone through different circumstances. How can we ever be content and joyful when we've gone through one of these type of situations? It's, it just doesn't work. It's just unimaginable, isn't it? On our own, our broken past will always be just that. Broken, unrestored, and incredibly painful. But God did not create us to be on our own. He created us to walk with Him. And that's where we find the fullness of joy. Joy is a sense of well-being that surpasses all circumstances, no matter what they are. When you know everything is going to be okay, Everything will be right again. That is true joy. And the result of joy heals our broken past, heals our broken hearts, and restores us. It is the secret to complete restoration. Joy gives us the ability to rise above our past, be content in our present, and look forward to our future. And that's what true joy is. It takes time to really learn that, to really feel it, and to apply it in our lives. But we can do it. We just have to be very liberal with joy. Take it all in. Know that God is in control. He can heal us from any pain, any sorrow, any heartache, and keep that joy of fullness in our heart. That's the way I see joy. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!